Hello, guys. Let's revise sine root, cosine root. Revision, sign root, cosine root. One random question. <clears throat> Your cosine rule, the cosine rule we learned just here. <clears throat> All right, try cosine rule. Try to solve, I could try to solve speed, see? If you use A, B, C, uh, that's called the C, this is called the B, this is called the A. <clears throat> No, 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 Samuel. We didn't work out some other stuff. We tried to work out the length of BC. Okay. We tried to work out the length of BC. Hey, check on. You have options, ah. Huh? Like, uh, can we write A here? Then B, C, B, C, A. If you write here, you cannot solve it. Because we don't really know the angle A. So, that's uh, not right. Let's change it. Patient. What on the left? This one doesn't work. We don't know the angle. Oh, good. If here is 30 degree, this will be six, okay? 30 degrees, six opposite. Then maybe just make an X here. X 10, X 
ten. Yeah, no, guys, try to solve an X. Because this is a quadratic equation. Quadratic equation. <clears throat> solve an X. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, ah, the question I designed is very important. It's a harder than normal exam. Huh? Okay, let's simplify. Hmm? Change to quadratic equation. Let's solve it. Guys, use your calculator, solve it up. Solve it. Quadratic equation.
Uh, what, who has the value? What's your value? Yeah, for x. Because we got 17.32 plus or minus 17.32 squared minus 4ac, like this one, divided by 2. Using calculator, if we need a 3sf, patient, what's your value? And then it's should be Oh, I got 12.0. Oh, yeah. 5.34. Felix, you got these two answers? You guys need the calculator. Yeah, we need the three SF, so 5.34. Uh, Stella, any question? The key idea for cosine rule, these two opposite, opposite. Why this question harder than normal one? Cause this one we converted into quadratic equation. That's why it's a bit harder, okay? Now, <clears throat> Guys, let's try another one. Still same question. Still same question, huh? but we try different way. We try different way. You cannot use cosine rule or sine rule. Work out x. No sine rule, cosine rule, work out x. How we do it? We did a similar question last week. Oh. Calculator. Number one. Number two, number three, hurry up. Calculate number one, number two, number 
Okay. Hey, number one, patient, what's your value for number one? Five. What's your value for number three, patient? But then, up to, okay. Oh, number two, just equal square root of this Pythagoras. This is six, this is five, what's two? Ariel, what's the number two? Square root of, because if you need a, oh, very good, 11. Six square minus five square six square minus five square. So we have square root of 11. Number three. Yeah, Samuel, you run too much. Huh? This is a five. We just use Pythagoras. You don't really need a calculator now. 10 square minus five square, square root of 75. Hey, we got the two and the three. What's the X now? What's the X, guys? What's the X? You got two and the three already. What's the X? Facing what's the X? Oh, I guess it's a BC on. In this diagram, just three plus two. Okay. Just three plus two. Eh? Uh, I will work it out. Three plus two just gave you here. Yeah, oh, you got the second one. Because we have two values, Catherine, correct. Ah. How we got this one? 
guys. How we got the other one? It's a bit, a, a bit uh, like a brainstorming on. Um. Three plus two. Gave you the first one. How we got the second one? How we got the second one? Wait, uh, I, oh, it's, yeah. Is this related? Was yeah, related. related. All th three minus two. You put it in two negative. Oh, you use three minus two, not oh, two minus three. I didn't know yeah, three minus one. We can do three minus two. It's not in scale. This two could be. Guys, could be this. You calculate three. This is three. This is two. This is X. Could be three minus two. For this question, we revise the Pythagoras Sokatoa. Okay. And the cosine rule. Let's check the sine rule. After this, we check a graph, but it's called the linear programming. Uh, ACG student learned some li linear programming already, huh? Uh, Michael, right? You learned some linear programming already? Oh, you are not from ACG. Still same question. But we try sine rule now. Sine rule. Oh, like a sign what over what equals sign what over what. Okay, the information we have. So first step, you can calculate angle C. All right, work out angle C. Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, sine C equals. Use your code, you got sine C equals five over six. Yeah, solving this question, we tried the Sokato and the Pythagoras. We tried the cosine rule. Now we try sine rule. So C equals. Case one. <clears throat> Case two. Yeah, Peixin, what's the angle C? 56.4. Then what's the angle A? 93.6. So X over Sine ninety three point six. What's x? That's a sine. <clears throat> no, this X just gave you 12.0. Oh, yeah, how we got this, uh, the second one? That's an important question. Guys, angle C 56.4. Who remember the other value? What's the other possible value? We did the same idea last week. Guys, what is the other possible value of angle C? The other possible value on um, it's like here. This one is a 56.4. How about this one? Aerial. Yes. Good, Samuel. Good aerial. Just use 180 minus this. 123.6 degree. In this case, what's angle A? In this case, what's angle A? <clears throat> One eighty minus thirty minus this. 26.4. In this case, if you solve an X, very good. So this question I designed on 
You can use super hot type buckets. You can use cosine root. You can use sine root. Okay. Ah. Oh. Redo it on. Uh, redo this single question. You can revise a lot of rules. That's a good question. Okay. That's a very good question. Okay. Oh, let's just start a new topic. <clears throat> 